Why was Elphaba green? One of the biggest questions the movie Wicked left us with was about why this innocent girl developed dark abilities connected to negative emotions. Elphaba spent her days being discriminated against, not knowing that she was the result of a cruel experiment. What would you think if I told you that the witch's color was nothing more than the result of the influence of the Wizard of Oz? Could it be that the Green Witch was actually a weapon created to win a magical war and was never the villain in this story? What happens when you are discriminated against all your life by a system that tries to use you? In this video, we'll be talking about the real reason why Elphaba was green and how this is going to influence the upcoming movie Wicked Part 2. One that could show us Glinda fighting the Wizard of Oz and revealing the true origin of the witch's birth. Want to know more? And for your favorite series and movie videos, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. Before starting this video, I invite you to participate in the new giveaway we will be having in this channel, where we will be giving away the first volume of Scarlet Witch by Steve Orlando, a story that will mark the future of the Marvel Universe. To participate, all you have to do is comment which is your favorite moment of the Marvel Universe. The winner will be announced on November 30th. Wicked has quickly become one of the biggest hits of 2024, which ensures the production of a sequel. One in which we could see Glinda's revenge after she discovers a terrible secret. Perhaps the Wizard of Oz is Elfie's real father. To understand why the witch is green and how this connects to Glinda, we must go back to the beginning of the story. Elphaba's mother was a woman married to a preacher who wanted children, but her husband was hardly ever home. He used to spend his days at church and his wife was kept alone at home. According to the story, the witch's mother met a mysterious man who, with a promise, gave her a green elixir. This elixir was possibly intended to increase Milena's fertility, or at least that explains why she took it, resulting in an extramarital pregnancy and the fruit of sin was green. Elphaba's birth surprised everyone because of the green color of her skin. Since in this universe, green is linked to dark magic. Many people assumed that she was the product of a curse, even rumored that her mother was condemned. However, Elphaba always suspected that her origin was related to a mysterious green elixir, which she kept after her mother's death, following the birth of her sister. Later, we see Glinda question Elphaba about the vial, something that was left inconclusive in this story but will be important in the future. In the second part of Wicked, Glinda may discover something that connects Elphaba to the Wizard of Oz. In one scene of the musical, Glinda finds an identical elixir in the wizard's room, suggesting that he was manipulating their lives from the beginning. Everything points to the fact that his actions had a clear purpose, to orchestrate a war against the animals and take absolute control of the world, or to create people with supernatural abilities who could replace him as a wizard, to turn a lie into a truth. This discovery not only strengthens the connection between Elphaba and the wizard, but also questions who the real villain in this story was. The Wizard of Oz is Elphaba's father. Another important point is that the Wizard of Oz's lack of magical abilities has possibly led him to conduct experiments to generate this magic in people. But then, what is the plan of the Wizard of Oz, and why was he actually green? If we take into account the books and the musical, what is really happening is that the Wizard of Oz, having no magical abilities and living in a place where magic exists, created a performance to manipulate people. He created an illusion of power and made everyone believe that he was a magician. Everyone admired the Wizard of Oz without knowing he was a liar. It is possible that he received daily requests to solve problems in the region, and he began to question how to really acquire magical powers, because he could not keep up the lie for long. The Wizard of Oz did magical experiments with these green chemicals, and the result was the most powerful witch who ever lived. 
but he may have also created the worst villain. He thought he could keep this act going for a lifetime, but in the end it will be discovered. But why the color green? As I mentioned in this universe, green represents dark magic. The Wizard of Oz, Master of Illusions, might have used this color in his human experiments to divert suspicion. If something went wrong, people would attribute it to a curse or dark magic rather than a mad scientist. It is even possible that the wizard himself created the idea that green symbolizes dark magic as part of his strategy of manipulation and control. Now how is this going to affect the next film? During the Wicked movie, the witch has lost her life and her former friend is the one who tells her story. As I mentioned, at one point in the movie, Glinda sees this elixir, which means she will confront the Wizard of Oz in the sequel when she sees a similar elixir in his house. I believe that like this movie, the second installment will be divided into two eras, past and present. We will see how the witch begins to increase her influence in the past and how she becomes that feared being. While in the present, her friend Glinda decides to take revenge and confront the Wizard of Oz. But as we know, Glinda does not have great magical skills, and it is possible that she will be defeated by her teacher or by some trick from the wizard. Glinda's story is also interesting, and we will talk about it soon. Because like the story of the Green Witch, it is a story of a misunderstood blonde. Although this film is a musical focused on magical aspects and is usually considered childish, behind the manipulation of the Wizard of Oz lies a metaphor about social control and discrimination. Elphaba was discriminated against because of her skin color, but it was the result of a corrupt system that wanted to use her abilities for war. The film Wicked shows us how prejudice, manipulation, and social control can be even more powerful than magic. And while the streets celebrate the end of the green woman, perhaps she was right all along and was the heroine of a poorly told story. In the end, perhaps the best magic trick is to maintain control of a society while everyone fears the real victims. But tell me, what do you think of all this? Do you think she is the result of an experiment conducted by the Wizard of Oz? What do you think of the social manipulation and control that the Wizard of Oz exercised? Share your opinion in the comments. And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Oasis Geek.